Mitsubishi Electric is a global market-leading environmental technologies manufacturer. Their Living Environmental Systems division is based here in Hatfield in Hertfordshire and I'm here to talk to their Sustainable Solutions Manager Martin Fahi. I started by asking him what are the main challenges in creating low-carbon buildings. The major challenges we see for making lower carbon buildings in the future is to address our existing building stock. And that for us would mean moving away very quickly from our use of fossil fuels within buildings. There's no need to do it. The technologies exist that can deliver that change now. Um, they're, very, they're proven, they're very efficient, very well sorted solutions. The skills also exist. Often we get told that the skills don't exist in the country. People don't know how to fit the newer technologies like heat pumps. That's just not our experience. And in our own building in Hatfield, we've applied heat pump technology to that building, moved it from an energy rating from E to B by using skills and technologies that are ready and available in this country. These photovoltaic panels are in the Mitsubishi Electric training suite here, which shows some of the solutions which they offer to domestic customers in this particular display. This is a heat recovery ventilation unit that you would typically have in the loft of your house. And coming over here, we see this heat pump, which takes heat out of the air all around us and then upgrades it and transfers it into this EcoDan water cylinder which then provides hot water for all your water needs and also for heating. Let's now hear again from Martin about what the challenges are coming up in the future, whether they are climate change, energy security and also rising fuel prices. The three major issues as we see them, they are climate change which is a global issue and as a country, we have our own part to play in that. We have only a small percentage of the world's population, but we use roughly twice as much energy as we have in population terms. So that is a big item which any company like ours could not ignore. We have our part to play in climate change. So we're, we're spending a lot of time and effort. We call it making eco changes in our business to drive down our footprint through production and product use and the three R's, anybody with children will tell you, reduce, reuse, recycle. But then there's also the issue of fuel security. We're no longer able as a country to generate enough fossil fuel of our own for our own demands. That means we have to import primary energy into the country. That is not something that's sustainable in the long term. It exposes us to changing prices and exposes us to insecurity if somebody decides to sell that energy to somebody else. So we need to become more reliant, introduce more renewable technologies, such as heat pumps and PV, to drive down our need for fossil fuel. And then lastly, the big ticket item for us is fuel pricing. Obviously, if you're reliant on other markets for your primary energy, you are at the mercy of those markets for the price. Fuel security and fuel price are linked that has an impact on fuels poverty. So for us, those are the three big items, climate change, fuel security, and fuel price. Looking at commercial buildings now, this is a mock-up of the EcoDan ground and water source heat pump system, which takes energy out of the ground and uses it to heat commercial buildings. Mitsubishi Electric also manufacture a fully scalable air to water heat pump for use in commercial buildings. So with Mitsubishi Electric's Green Gateway mission statement, let's look at whether they are fit for the future. We need to make some rapid changes now. So that means us getting behind technologies, getting behind solutions that can deliver four very distinct things. Can they deliver environmental benefits over what was there before? We would argue that heat pumps are a technology, for example, that do exactly that. They use less fossil fuel Therefore, they deliver environmental benefits over the incumbent technologies, such as gas boilers. Are they economically viable? Can you make enough of them? Can you fit enough of them so that the economies of scale work? Solutions need to be socially acceptable by people as well. And when you deliver all of those things in the right combination, 
you should realize then that you have got the right solution that can make a rapid change away from where we are now to where we want to be, but it's accepted by everybody and is delivering the viable, accepted, greener, if you like, options that we all desire. Many commercial buildings in this part of the world, as well as needing heating, they also need cooling. And Mitsubishi Electric makes a range of cooling capable systems. Now the trick is to take heat that you extract from one part of a building and use it in another part of the same building. So what difference can a manufacturer of this type of equipment make? An equipment manufacturer like us can make a lot of difference because the equipment and how that equipment is used in a building through its life is going to have the biggest impact on that building's carbon footprint more than any other. Something like 80% of the impact of a building will come through how it's used. Therefore, the equipment choices that are made in that building will have the longest impact. People won't necessarily use that building recognising how the heat has been delivered, that cooling is being recovered to use in other areas. So engineers need to make those decisions for them and give the users that social sort of interface where they can just control it as they wish. So we have a big part to play. And the most obvious one is, is when we do consume energy, we consume it in the most efficient and increasingly renewable way possible to deliver what is demanded of the piece of equipment. There are lots of companies working in this area and lots of technologies available to reduce carbon, but in the end, which will be the solutions that win? It needs to be a mass solution by definition. We have a lot of buildings in this country, existing buildings, that need to change from where they are now to being more efficient, less carbon intensive, and incorporate wherever possible as much renewable energy on them as they possibly can. For us, the mass market solution that can make the biggest impact are air source heat pumps. We have a very moderate um, climate in the UK. We have proven technology that when correctly applied to a building can supply low carbon renewable energy to that building in a mass effect way. So it's the only technology that government recognises being scalable for every home in the country. So that for us has the biggest part to play. Well, that's it from us here at Mitsubishi Electric in Hatfield, the company that is proud to say the green ethos runs through the way it does business.